so you can see this sleeve is actually beautiful and trending and it's worn by Vicky James so in this class I'll be teaching you how to go about this sleeve so if this is what you want to learn in this class I will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial to learn how this beautiful sleeve with roses is made so to begin this tutorial i'll be making use of my basic uh, long sleeve so if you are making this um, particular rose sleeve you need your basic long sleeve so this basic long sleeve i have a detailed video on how to make this sleeve in case you don't know how to go about it i'll be dropping the link on how to make the draft a basic long sleeve so if you look at this basic long sleeve, you can see I have my cap height, I have my bicep, I have the elbow, the three-quarter, and the full length. So I'm going to come in with a plain pattern paper. So this is my pattern paper. You can see it's plain. So you are going to pick it up from here. You can see as if you are making a bias. So I just pick it up like this. Can you see? So once you pick it up like this, this is what you are going to have. So this part, you can see this part is the folded edge. So I just brought it back. I placed it on an unbiased. So if you place it on bias, you see have the folded edge like this. And you can see what I have right here. So this folded edge of it, this is the part that is folded. I'll just mark the part that is folded. And here is the open edge. So I'll bring in my sleeve. If you look here, you can see this part is straight. So you just keep it as if you are keeping uh, a 90 degrees triangle. So this part is the part that is and the 90 degrees part so this is the straight part that is what i mean so i'll place this on the straight part like this so i'll keep shifting it this way can you see what i have you make sure the tip touches the folded edge and make sure that this part of the sleeve touches the 90 degrees part. I believe you understand. So after that is done, just go ahead and secure with your pin. So I'll just move it to touch here and here. I mean the straight parts, the side will touch the straight part and this will touch the tip of it at an angle of 90 degrees. Can you see that? So I'll just secure that part with my pin. So the next line of action is going to be to cut out what we have. You follow the shape of your sleeve like this. I'm going to cut through the back part of the sleeve like this. Can you see? So once you are done, what I have here on the folded part from here is about 17 and a half inches okay so it should not uh, exceed 17 and a half or 18 it should be within 17 and 18 so what i have from the tip of this is what 17 and a half so it's okay all right so now the way it is right here i'm going to cut this leaf on the fabric we have already made the pattern as you can see right here so i'll bring in my fabric right now to cut so i come with my fabric so i'm working with a cutting fabric okay so you can use cotton and kara you know any fabric on the cutting um nature will give you that rose okay after we are done with it so i don't know about uh, slippery materials like satin or what but cutting is fine for this project 
So here I have one and yard, one yard of cutting. So this is my one yard of cutting. I'm also going to fold it the way I folded my pepper. So I folded it in bias this way. So you just go ahead and fold it in bias like this. Of course, you know how we folded the pepper. So I fold it in bias. So you can see this part is the folded part of our pepper. If you remember this folded part, so I just place it this way, making sure it aligns like that. I'll just dress it this way so I don't waste my fabric. So I'll pin it, I'll secure with my pin also. I'll go ahead and secure with my pin. So after securing this with my pin, I'm going to cut adding my half inch seam allowance. Okay, I'm going to add half inch seam allowance all around. So you can go ahead and mark your seam allowances. So I want you to watch how I'm doing that. I'm adding half an inch like this. And that is where I'm going to cut. So wherever you have the chalk line, that is where I'm going to cut. So I'll just cut half an inch like that. Then when I come to the sleeve, I'll be adding one inch. I'm using one inch for my sleeve hem. Then when I come to the side of my sleeve, I'll add half an inch like that so i'm going to cut along side my seam allowance so i'll just add alongside so when i come here i'll also add half an inch like this okay till i get down the sleeve so i'll go ahead to cut right now So you can also add one inch on your side of the sleeve. The part I'm cutting now, if you want, you can add one inch to it. So I'll just follow my chalk line like that. I'll cut here up to this level. And then I'll cut it like that, like a square. So you can see what I have right there. Okay. So now I'm going to take off my pattern. I'll take off my pattern after adding my seam allowances. So if you take off your pattern, this is what you are going to have for your sleeve. Okay. So I'm going to open it because we are going to stitch this way. So well, the fabric I'm working with anyway is um, cotton. They all look alike, front and back. I don't even know the part that is my front or my back. So if you're working with a fabric that has front and back, simply do this. Mark the back part. And it's at that back part we are going to stitch. So if your front part, your back part is this side, it means you open this sleeve like this. And then you also proceed to your stitching. So the part we are going to stitch is this part. That is the part we are going to stitch. So since I don't have front and back, I'll just go back to my machine now. I'll follow half an inch like this. I'll follow it this way. So after stitching, this is what I have on the angle 90 degrees. So here is where we have our a sleeve notch and you are going to put make sure you put a notch here can you see make sure you put a notch here so this is the down part of the sleeve so i'll go over to my my ironing table right now i'm going to iron open this side okay so here you can see i've ironed open uh, this part of my sleeve so I'll now turn it to the front so I have this mark here because I wanted to use here for the back okay but since I turned it to the other part 
I just left it. So I want you to watch what I'm doing now. You can see how the back of this sleeve. I'm going to gently bring everything out. I'm going to bring in. But before I do that, make sure you reduce this part. You know it's pointy. So you need to reduce it so it's not uh, difficult to get the point out. So you just bring it out like this. Can you see that? So you bring it out like this. So once you bring it out that way, you start arranging the uh, rose piece. So but meanwhile, you will need a base for this leaf. And that base for this sleeve, I've already cut it out from my basic sleeve. Can you see that? So you just place your basic sleeve, add your half inch seam allowance for the stitching, and cut it up to the elbow line. You don't need to get it to the long sleeve. Please take note of that. So I've already cut it out. So the next I'm going to do is to place this on top of this. So once you place on top of it, you can see the sleeve drain line. You pin it to the sleeve grain line. Okay. Once you have done that, you place this. You can see they are matching. So you have to pin all of this first. Then you come over to the back sleeve, pin the back sleeve too, like this. Okay, so make sure everything is matching nice and good. So later I will also stitch on top of it. So now you can see the center of the rose sleeve. So you now start taking your time to create this rose the way you want. So I would like to make more pleats to this rose. So you can decide to make the pleats of this rose bold or you might decide to make it small so whichever way you just keep in fact if you work with cutting fabric of course you just have your rows without stress so at this point which is the center of this rose you are going to tack on it can you see at this point of the rose make sure you put it at the center center on the sleeve grain line so you just tack it so i'm going to use my pin to tack it to the basic sleeve then i'll start picking my rose of course if you use the cutting fabric it will just form for you but if you make use of maybe a satin fabric it will just be wobbling you know like that like that so i prefer to work with cutting Cutting will just stand, make the row stand the way you want. So you can see, even without much pinning and tacking, I have my rows already. So next you will do is to go over to the machine and stitch on this side, stitch on this side, and stitch on the basic strip. So I'll go to the machine now, I'll stitch here, here, and I'll tack here on my machine. So you can use needle and thread. You can also use machine tacking. Okay, you can use machine tacking. So, but the first thing I want to do is to secure the drape of the rose sleeve to the basic sleeve and the sides. Then I'll bring it back to secure them more. So I've sewn the basic sleeve to the drape sleeve and I'm taking off my pin. So after that, I... I'm going to arrange the roses, okay? So the center rose, I tacked the center rose with my machine. So I'm going to drape it to my taste. So I just keep draping it. So I will drape and tack, drape and tack. So by the time I turn this, it's not going to have um, issues with turning the sleeve. So just make sure you tack very, very well, okay? So, after tacking, the next I'm going to do now 
is to go over to the machine so i'm you can see i'm taking my time to arrange it so make sure i arrange it before you stitch after stitching the size of the sleeve the next i did is to turn the sleeve to the right side so make sure you tack before you turn or else the roses will scatter so i am arranging the sleeve once again because i did not tack but make sure you tack so after turning the sleeve you can see what i have so it's actually a long sleeve so you go ahead and attach this to your armhole okay so i believe you learned a lot from this class so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you once again see you in the next class bye